Hi, I'm Dave Graybill, host of the Fishing Magician Outdoor Cooking Show. Welcome to this episode. It's my great pleasure to be at the home of my good friend Tom Kalis, who is the owner of Hooked On Toys in Wenatchee. This gives me the opportunity to do something nice for Tom for a change because Tom has been a tremendous help to me over the years, and we go back quite a ways now, yeah, don't we? Yes. <laughs> and he has helped me so much sponsoring my different radio and newspaper reports, but really, he has stepped up and helped me launch and get started with a lot of my events for kids. And every year he handles all the registrations for that huge event we have in Leavenworth, and that gets pretty hectic yes, there that last week, doesn't it, Tom? It does. But Tom has done a wonderful job servicing this Wenatchee Valley for all your hunting and fishing needs and everything else and floaty toys yeah. and on and on. He's just done a wonderful job building that business there. But he's really given a lot back to this community and it's my pleasure to be here and cook a great meal for Tom and his brother Gust yeah. is here today too. And the name Kalist Kalis and Gust is Greek in origin. So I've done a little bit of research and come up with a Greek menu for tonight. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I've got chicken that's been marinating all day. I've got lamb kebabs. And I'm going to round it out with a Greek salad. So this is really, I can't wait to dig in. I've actually pre-tested these recipes mm -hmm. to be sure that you'd like them. Okay. And I got the approval of my wife, Eileen, so I think we've got a great meal on the way. Sounds good. Well, I'm going to let Tom exit, sit down and relax, have a drink, and Gust is going to step in and help me get this meal started. All right. All right. Now, and again, we're at Tom's beautiful home up here with a gorgeous view and a brand new barbecue that we're breaking in. And the first thing we're going to do is get some of this chicken going. And as you can see, Gus, as I mentioned, this has been marinating all day long. It's got all these good juices flowing. In fact, I wanted to let people know if they'd be interested in finding out this recipe for grilled chicken, they can go to globalgourmet.com and go to the Greek destination and they can find the same recipe that I'm using here tonight. Not terribly complicated, but I don't want to spend a lot of time reviewing the ingredients. I want to get this meal going. So this is going to go right on the grill. Those are pretty big legs. <laughs> they are, aren't they? And I brought more. <laughs> There's only four of us, Dave. I know, and I actually had backup in case we had guests. So we'll get those on the grill and get them going. One of the things I might share with people is when I got this package out and opened them up, the way these are trimmed, there was a tremendous amount of fat on the lead edge of this thigh. That made for a pretty fiery grill when I put them on one of my other grills. And what I would advise people is to trim that back. It's very easy to flip that over, find that. Trim it back and then you're not going to have a lot of flare-up. So now we're going to, we've got our chicken going and the next round is going to be these beef kebabs beef. They're lamb kebabs. Of course, this is Greek. And Gus is going to help me with that because he's the one that showed me a great device that works so well when you're doing kebabs, the fire wire. I tell you, I've used those now every time we grill. They're fabulous. Yeah. And Gus is going to give a demonstration of what those look like and how they work. And so I'm going to close this down and we'll keep an eye on this. But it looks like these are off to a good start. Yeah, they look, they look good already. They smell good yeah, already. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to shut this down. And when we come back, we're going to jump into our lamb kebab.
anglers are shifting gears and focusing on our popular winter fisheries with Rufus Woods Reservoir at the top of the list. Whether you're after big triploid rainbow from a boat or to shore, Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee has everything you need to do battle with these prized trout. From power bait to trolling lures, Hooked on Toys has the biggest selection you'll find anywhere. Stock up for winter fishing fun at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee, located at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue or online at HookedOnToys.com. Hooked on Toys! Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsive you already know Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market for their local fruits and vegetables, but where's the beef? <laughs> it's here now. Farm fresh, born in the USA, no added hormones, natural beef, just like Grandpa used to raise. Beef, pork, and free-range chicken fresh from the farm to your table. You can feed your family with confidence knowing that you're serving all naturally raised fruits, vegetables, and now meat fresh from the farm. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on North Wenatchee Avenue next to the Buzz Inn. Honey, you are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Look, this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me mm. get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. Oh, my parents are gonna fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Well, now, in this portion of our program, the next dish on our menu is a good old kebab. Now, we've probably had these at different times, and the difference between what I'm doing is I'm using lamb, which maybe, maybe you've experienced lamb too, but this has a very special quality, a wonderful flavor, and again, I was able to find just through the, the magic of the internet a great, pretty simple recipe to marinate this lamb. And what I did is I found a leg of lamb is really the best thing to start with because it gives you the, the size of the meat and you have very little waste then. Uh, I tried shoulder and I wound, which will work just fine, but I wound up with uh, quite a bit of waste in terms of bone and, and things like that. And what I'm adding to my leg of lamb is alternates of green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper. I like to use a lot of different colors. And good old Bermuda onion is right on this skewer. And again, this is done on this. This is called Firewire. And this is something that Gus introduced me to down at Hooked on Toys. And it's just very convenient to work with. And one of the advantages is, say, if you were cooking steak and then you wanted to grill some vegetables to go with, you can just string that on there and then wrap it right around the meat and the other items you have on your grill. It's pretty fancy. Pretty neat way to go. And I'm going to have Gus load up another one of our skewers with the, our lamb leg. And then I also, I forgot to mention, I have Roma tomatoes in here, too. Nice. Yes, and I would recommend, uh, and a lot of recipes suggest that you use cherry tomatoes. And what I find, and I don't know what your experience is, Gus, but those usually sort of burst and drain, and these Romas have a nice, good texture to them. They're very substantial, and they go through the grilling process very well. 
This Firewire is awesome. We've um, we've sold over 200 of them. It's the hottest is that item. Right? We've actually had people come in and say, "I saw that on the cooking show. Well, where, where is that hot little tool?" Gotta have it. They're yeah. 9.99. You get two of them. Oh, I know. And uh, it is the hottest thing. It, and they're stainless steel, and so that you just throw them in the dishwasher when you're done. It's really easy to clean up with those, and they do. They're they're very handy and convenient. We love them. The other thing that's great is this end of the fire wire. As long as you leave it outside the grill, it remains cool. So when you're ready to turn them over, you just grab that. You can pick it up, flip it over, and yeah. that's very convenient. It is, and we're going to show people how that works. I'm going to sneak a peek at our chicken, which is grilling along nicely. We'll be, that's going to be ready to turn here in just a few more minutes, I think. It's getting a nice crust on the, on the outside here, so we're going to brown the opposite side of those here very soon. Going to make sure our grills are warmed. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're warming up nicely. They're going to be just right. And the timing should be good. Even with, you can see these are pretty substantial pieces of <laughs> shoulder that I put pretty on big. here. Well, you know. I hope you're hungry, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I used kind of small pieces uh, when I did my test the other night, and uh, my wife Eileen said she could have probably consumed the whole amount herself. So we went the different direction on sizes this time. Well, look at this. I don't have a long stick. I can. It's nice and round. I can put this anywhere on the grill that we want. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, it's easy to work with when you're when you're putting things together too. I love the fire wire. I tell you, it's... only in hooked on toys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is this driving you crazy, Tom? These aromas. Yes, I'm, all I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, let's finish that one off. <laughs> when when are all the what? people coming to eat all this, Dave? I told you, we have so much food here tonight. We might be eating this at lunch uh, tomorrow at work. <laughs> Maybe some of our customers, when they come in, <laughs> I'll let them have it. A little sample. Well, you, while you're finishing that one on, I'm gonna load this this grill because then we're going to be ready to go. These are these are big, Tom. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the sound I like. Oh, I see him. Boy, this fire wire is cool, though. Look, I mean... Yeah, I yeah. know. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm yeah, a it's fan. been featured on many of our shows, that's for sure, because it's just, it just works. It does as promised. Yeah, I think I got it loaded up. Okay, good. Let's just flop that on the plate here with this other one, and we'll transfer it to our hot grill. So those are going to go right on the grill, and then when we come back, we're going to check each item, take a quick look at our chicken, probably give it a turn, and then we're going to prepare our fabulous Greek salad. All right. Anglers are shifting gears and focusing on our popular winter fisheries with Rufus Woods Reservoir at the top of the list. Whether you're after big triploid rainbow from a boat or to shore, Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee has everything you need to do battle with these prized trout. From power bait to trolling lures, Hooked on Toys has the biggest selection you'll find anywhere. Stock up for winter fishing fun at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee, located at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue or online at HookedOnToys.com. Hooked on Toys! You already know Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market for their local fruits and vegetables, but where's the beef? <laughs> it's here now. Farm fresh, born in the USA, no added hormones, natural beef, just like Grandpa used to raise. Beef, pork, and free-range chicken fresh from the farm to your table. You can feed your family with confidence knowing that you're serving all naturally raised fruits, vegetables, and now meat fresh from the farm. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on North Wenatchee Avenue next to the Buzz Inn. Honey, you are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, 
what? This is the most impressive thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. Oh, my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsible Well, our chicken is just about done, and as you can see, it's finished nicely. This marinade has created a really nice crust on this, and of course, this marinated for almost eight hours, and so that's permeated the meat, and when that finishes, it's going to be great. Now, I'm going to have Gus show you just how easy it is to deal with the fire wire. Let's just, oh, look let's at those. just turn them over. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding you, Dave. That's cool to the touch, baby. <laughs> just kidding. Look at that. Just turn oh, so these easy. over. Make them nice. I can put them anywhere I want on the grill. Just Beautiful. like that. Beautiful. Oh, man, that looks great. We got a couple old ones here. Let's see. Do they make these anymore? <laughs> That's what I got to do to turn the old shish kebab if I can find room on the grill. Ah! I got stuff falling off here, Dave. Look at that. This is this is no good. This, <laughs> this is not. This is bad. The, the lamb looks delicious, but look at all this. This is not right. <laughs> Which one do you want to use? Hey. The fire wire or the old one? The obvious choice. The obvious fire wire. Jump into the new century. Get your fire wire. Okay, good. Now those everything's t turning out nicely, timing out. And so really all we have to do now is finish up with our Greek salad. Which, again, now I should mention, if, if you haven't noticed already, everything was already prepared and in bags. They were marinating in a bag, ready to go on the grill. This could have been done at a, a campsite at Lake Wenatchee, anywhere you want to go, in your backyard or anywhere you camp. You can have a gourmet meal if you do your prep in advance. Now what I've got here is a nice batch of uh, the lettuce, the romaine, and uh, what a Greek salad is going to include is some chopped cucumber, chopped Roma tomato, again for that nice texture, Kalamatra pitted olives. That's wow, the key. Aren't, there you go. Aren't they great? Yeah, those are good. I love them. Yeah, don't spare the olives when you're making a Greek salad. Absolutely. They're the best. And then, of course, another feature is this nice Bermuda onion. Very thinly sliced. We'll add a nice amount of that to stir around in our salad. And then, of course, feta cheese. Yeah, gotta, gotta have, have feta cheese. Gotta it's have. an acquired taste. It, I love feta cheese. I always have. So those are our basic ingredients. And then again, our dressing, which is just a mixture of olive oil, uh, our good Mediterranean oregano, a little bit of lemon, things of that nature. And again, when you watch the show, we'll direct people on which websites to find these good Greek recipes. We're in Crete, Greece, by the way. <laughs> We've flown from Wenatchee yeah. to Crete, Greece. And here we are. Can't you just see the white stucco in the background? All right. And I should mention that the, uh, the recipe calls for a lot of dressing, and you won't need that full amount to make your salad. 
and we'll just give that a gentle toss. Just and, like my mom makes. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Good. That's going to be a fabulous salad. What a perfect accompaniment to what we're having tonight. And also, I should mention another popular side dish that we didn't prepare because we've got an awful lot of food here. A real popular side dish for a Greek meal is either a rice or a fried potato. It is very popular. And so that, if you want to have some kind of starch with your meal, those would put you in the Greek neighborhood if you added those items. So I think we've got everything ready yeah. now. We've got our salad. We've got our chicken about done. It look, you know what? I don't eat enough lamb <laughs> because boy, the way these kebabs turned out, they are gonna be fabulous. Yeah. So when we come back, we're gonna sample the rewards of our efforts here tonight. and We're gonna sit down to an authentic Greek meal. <laughs> Somebody go get Tom. <laughs> <laughs> You'll wanna be in on this. Hooked on toys! Anglers are shifting gears and focusing on our popular winter fisheries with Rufus Woods Reservoir at the top of the list. Whether you're after big triploid rainbow from a boat or to shore, Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee has everything you need to do battle with these prized trout. From power bait to trolling lures, Hooked on Toys has the biggest selection you'll find anywhere. Stock up for winter fishing fun at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee, located at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue or online at hookedontoys.com. Hooked on Toys! Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsive you already know Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market for their local fruits and vegetables, but where's beef? <laughs> it's here now. Farm fresh, born in the USA, no added hormones, natural beef, just like Grandpa used to raise. Beef, pork, and free-range chicken fresh from the farm to your table. You can feed your family with confidence knowing that you're serving all naturally raised fruits, vegetables, and now meat fresh from the farm. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on North Wenatchee Avenue next to the Buzz Inn. Hi, you are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. Okay. My parents are gonna fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Well, now, the reward of our hard work, Gus and Tom, is to get to dig in and try this meal. And thank you again, Tom, for inviting us up oh, here home. This thanks was, for making dinner. It looks wonderful. Oh, man, this was fun. What a gorgeous view. I can't think of a better place to sit down to dinner. This is wonderful. Mm, very good. Wow, yeah, I love it. Oh, <laughs> lamb's delicious. And once again, I think I don't eat enough lamb. Isn't that bad? This it is, is great. Very good. Thank very you. Very good. And the chicken, Tom? Great. You, okay, it's good. Great. Spiced well, yep. <laughs> well, I tell you what, camera person Eileen, why don't you come down here and join us? I want you to uh, be able to uh, give me your opinion on how this meal turned out. Yeah. Thanks. 
Good. Yeah, I'm anxious to try the chicken and what I've got in my test case. Cut by dimes, and this time, pathetic Greek cooking.